What is happening guys and welcome back to the best on the whole of YouTube, the Mitsubishi channel. <laughs> so today what we're going to be doing is servicing my dad's 2018 Triton. So this has got the 2.4 liter turbo diesel 4N15. This will be the same platform as the newer Pajero Sports and... Yeah, I think that's it. Um, and I think the Fiat version of the Triton, because they bought rights or something like that. Anyway, so first thing we've got to do, as per usual, when you service a car, is jack it up. So it should go something like that. And just like that, the car is jacked up. <laughs> we're getting jacked, boys. <laughs> no, okay. Anyway, so now what we're going to be doing is uh, I'm going to show you where we're going to drain the oil. So let's go and drain the oil, and then I'm going to show you what plates we need to take off underneath to change the oil filter. So let's go underneath the trite. Okay, welcome underneath the triton, everyone. So what we're going to be doing is taking off all these bash plates. So this one here, I think they're all 10 mils, if I remember correctly. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait, no, eight. There's eight. There's eight bolts. Anyway, all 10 mils. So, but first, let's start draining the oil, which the sump plug is right over there. Here it is. So, let's drain the oil. Get that sump plug. I don't even remember what size it is. It looks like a 14, maybe 16. Anyway, let's get the plug off. Yep, so it's a 17 mil. So, let's get it off. There it is over there. Let's quickly get this thing off and a good old trusty drain bucket. I'm pretty sure you guys remember this. It's an absolute amazing piece of engineering. Jeepers. Okay, I'm gonna need something else. I need a bigger ratchet. I'll be back. We back. Let's try the bigger ratchet. Let's actually move this out the way. Get the extension. There we go, much better. So, let's see how clean I can get this done today. <laughs> Not bad. Let's let this train, we should be good to go. Just another quick tech tip, people. When you're tightening your sump plug, you, you, you don't have to do this. Just tighten it until it feels good, not bloody all the ugga duggers. Because crikey. So anyway, we just chucked a little copper washer on there. It's not perfectly the right size, but it will do the job. So I'm going to go quickly put this back inside. And then, don't forget to put this back inside. I'm going to chuck a bit of RTV on the outside over here, um, just for fail safe. And then we're going to go take off those covers underneath there. So let's get that done. Aha. We're looking mint. So now what we're going to do is inspect over here and see why we have an oil leak because that's not ideal. I think I can tell you right now what it is. Front main seal is leaking. I'll put money on it, but let's get off this oil filter quickly and then I will show you. Oh, uh, here we go again. Oh God. Oh, here we go again. Okay, let me get my oil tool thing. We're going to get this off. This is what it has come to. So let's try to get this thing off. Let it drain. Noise. And that's how you get off a stuck oil filter. 
Very nice. So let's go see if this is the right size. Pretty sure it is, and I want to see if there's not a leak. I'll show you guys in a bit. So this is a good Z226. And a Z226. So we mint. I'm gonna quickly go clean up over there. And then let's find out where this oil leak is coming from. I think. Let's hop under here. Have a look here. You can see at the back here the way the oil is dripping down. And as far as I'm concerned, that's a front main seal right over there. Pretty common failure on most things that do have oil leaks over here. But we're gonna get it. Now we are back here. Uh, you can see distinctively the oil is not coming from above. It is coming definitely from the from that front crank front main pulley seal that's 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 the one right there okay so that's going to be done in a future job not now anyway let's get the oil filter back on maybe put a little bit of uh, oil in there just to give it uh, a little bit of a chance clean up the face i mean chuck a new filter on there just another quick thing it's always good just to date your filters just in case you don't filter the car someone else does you can see when it was done. Well, we'll go right in the book just now. But let's top this up quickly a little bit around the, around the mating ring, or bow ring. Put it on and then let's go fill up some oil and change a diesel filter. Okay, oil filter is in. Let's pop the bonnet, get the oil cap off, chuck some oil in it and hop onto the diesel filter. So here is the mighty 4N15. It is an amazing diesel engine. I must say these 2.4 is super capable. Um, yeah, I also can't see any oil from the top here. So it's definitely, I'll put the flash on now and have a look down there. But I think it is that front main seal. We'll have a look down there when I put the flash on. But anyway, let's get some oil in this thing and then do the diesel filter. So as far as I know, this thing takes about 7.4, 7.2 liters of oil. I'll double check it now, but I'm going to chuck in a five liter and then a little bit more and a little bit more. So let me get the five liter. Let's put some in. Okay, that was five liters in. I'm gonna put in another two, because it says full, it should be 8.4. Um, but because of this thing, I'm gonna put in another two liters and we should be perfectly fine. I'll have a look at the dipstick. It's at a bit of an angle, but let's have a look, see, and then we'll take it from there. Then we're gonna do diesel filter. Okay, yeah, so it's round about eight liters, 8.4-ish. I'm just checking on the dipstick now, because I kind of pre-filled the uh, oil filter, so it's slightly over full on the dipstick, so what we're going to do, and it's at a bit of an angle. So I'm going to show you guys how to do the diesel filter. So what you need to do is a diesel filter. There's a bracket behind here. You just, let me use my right hand, just slide it off. Then you're going to take off this top here. I'm going to put you guys on the tripod and show you how to take this top off. What I'm going to do is actually just disconnect everything, and then we should be good to go. Okay, it's been a minute since I've done one of these, so I, I made a mistake. All you need to do, this little ring on the bottom here, let me show you. You literally just spin that little ring. Let me show you guys. It is beyond simple. You can see here now. So there's a little ring over here with these grooves. Lift it up and spin it. That's it. There we go, just like that. Just like that. Mitsubishi were actually thinking of us when they designed this. Uh, that's off. Now we can actually remove the whole filter again to make life easier. And this thing should just There we go. Oops. Okay. So that's how you do it, guys. And then I'm gonna quickly get the get the new filter in, and then we should be good to go. Don't forget the O-rings and everything. But I'll show you where to put all of that now. Uh, that's disgusting. Change the diesel filters, people. Lovely. New filter. Let's take this old one out. Lovely. And it comes with these supplied O-rings, so that's great, perfect. Let's do that, just like that, back on the floor. 
and there should be enough diesel in there. Yeah, I think that's good. And then we can take off this O-ring on the bottom here. Quickly get a screwdriver. Alrighty. Old O-ring, new O-ring. Sorted, now we just put it back together. So, it just does that, and then just like this. I mean, that looks pretty decent if you ask me i think it's on straight i can't see anything <laughs> uh yeah i think it looks decent i think i need to go around go around once once or twice more i don't know if this thing's seated properly okay have a, have a better look <coughs> okay let me quickly get this thing seated properly. Okay, it's back on. I literally just put it back on the bracket and did everything a little bit better, but she's on, she's happy. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna re-plug in this guy over here, right over there. And now we're good to go. I think what we can do now is practically start the car, check the oil level, check that front main seal leak, and then we're good to go. Right, boys and girls, the Triton is done. So the fuel filter, diesel filter gave me a bit of an issue, but we're all good now. It doesn't leak, it's all sorted. It was just a bit of a dumb, I don't know. I can rebuild an engine, but I can't change the fuel. Yeah, any <laughs> anyway, so that's the thing. But boys and girls, that's how you service a Triton. I'm just gonna put that back on, but you don't need to see me doing that, no. So that's how you service a Triton, everyone. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And as always, don't forget to always send it. Catch you guys on the next one.